Warning! This disclaimer at the beginning of the video is to remind you of how you can download the content you are about to see at these websites listed right here, right now. Please refer to these sources before commenting about where we get our material to make this series. Thank you. Come on, I don't want to be late again. You're not doing so hot. Is the fire going out? No, we're going through a lot of oil already. Is it a problem with the atomizer? It's working fine. How about the burner? It's burning. How about the stoker? You don't have that. That's on the coal burners. Oh, right. Honestly, it's nothing wrong with you. It's this oil. What's the problem with it? It's low grade. We might as well be using motor oil. If there was only a way to improve it, we might need a helper engine again. Look, I've run here for decades and I've never had to depend on help. Size doesn't make a difference when it comes to what you use for fuel. Hey Anthony, I'll be here for the next hour. Is that enough time for you to get through? This line just hasn't been the same since they upgraded it for the big steam engines. Are we ready to go? Ready as will ever be. So, we're not asking- No, I feel fine. Let's go. No, Nathan, I got this on my own. I'll be out of your way in no time. All right, go get him, Anthony. You think I'll be all right going uphill? Nope. Phew. Made the hill. Okay, we're going to make a stop here. The owner has a few loads to pick up. More rocks? No. It was a warm winter. He's sending coal back to Junction City. You sure you got this? Ugh, coal. Of course I do. Coleman, I'm good. You can open the throttle. It is open. What? You sure the reverser is all the way forward? I'm doing everything. I think we need help. No, give it a moment. I think we can do it if we build up more steam. Concentrate as much oil into the firebox as you can. That's not how it works. Do it or I fire back. Fine. I told you, I don't need the help. You're going to run out of oil at this rate. Don't be so dramatic. Onwards to blue sky. Ugh, crud. I'm happy to help, Mr. Anthony. Mr. Ellis is helping me on- Not now. Anthony, let's discuss this. N nothing major, sir. Uh, just a little short of oil today is all. Well, it's happened a few times this month. I could give the benefit of the doubt the first few times. But this is becoming a pattern. We can no longer rely on you. The new oil we're using is just exacerbating the issue. I'm doing my best to be the good old reliable American. What I'm saying is, you are not taking our oil well. 
and we're not getting better oil for the foreseeable future. The other engines work fine with their larger fireboxes. Yours, though. Trainmaster, I understand your concern, but I am not throwing in the towel. I was getting to that. You're an icon here, and we want to do everything in our power to keep you in service, and our insurance won't cover this extraneous repair. But you will need a complete rebuild. How much rebuilt? A lot rebuilt. The thing is, we weren't prepared for this just yet. The new parts are going to take a few months to fabricate. So until then, there's an alternative to keep you running. Oh? A conversion from oil to coal. Coal burning? As in, new firebox? Different crates? Different internals? We have a matching coal tender we used for maintenance of way. It would take a couple of days to replace everything. We could always rebuild you back to oil, but that won't be for a while. Sir, it's kind of a big change, no matter how temporary. I've been an oil burner my whole career. At this point, it's either rebuild or retire. Uh, I don't know. We'll give you the time to think about it. Dan and Annie are going to Aeroc to help tomorrow, so feel free to discuss it with them. It's the best I can do. I'm sorry. This one is nice. I'm surprised we don't go here more often. Anthony, are you okay? Trainmaster told us everything. Hope you're holding up. It's a change. A conversion, and then a major upgrade down the line. It's a lot to consider. Don't worry, coal is fine. All of us are coal burners. Aren't the big engines oil burners? Yeah, uh, West Kent, Sydney, even Frank are oil burners. I think some of them were converted at some point. Didn't someone try making Ellis burn oil at some point? We don't talk about that. None of us had to go through a conversion, though. I was too early, Dan was local, and Ben is from the East. Circumstances can vary. You think I'm ready for this change? Absolutely. And we're ready to step in until you're back on your drivers. Just like before. Just like before? That last rebuild you got, you were out a few years. Trainmaster insisted on keeping you as original as possible. All brass parts, the logos, the big headlight and stack, they all stuck around. You'll be fine, don't worry. I guess. We're always happy to help you up the hill, too. Not now. Hello, Coleman. How's everything looking on the new tender? We don't need it. I think I'll have the answer to your oil problem. An answer? What do you mean? Special oil? Better than any oil. An alternative fuel source. With this, you'll be running like you're a brand new engine again. We don't need to ruin your authenticity. You want to replace my oil with that gallon of iced tea? It's an additive. A few chemicals mixed in with your oil will make it stronger with better viscosity. So we mix it with the oil and improve the quality. Isn't that a solution? It just might be. Where did you even get this from? Made a few calls. Mostly black market. Well, what are the side effects? Is my firebox gonna catch on fire? Four out of five oil burners couldn't tell the difference. Was that before or after the explosion? You'll be fine. Anything happens, I'll be right here to make sure you're okay. I'm not sure. What do you think about my coal conversion? Could you imagine San Juan Branch Line's most iconic engine being converted? They'd run me out of town on a rail. Let's just see what happens. Might as well. Now that's got some kick. Let's see how it performs. Now 
This is more like it. We're coming up to the bridge. We can turn back now. No way. We're headed straight for Blue Sky now. Throttle up. And that's why you can con a train, but you can't con rail. Seriously, Dan? Next time I'm dousing you with the fire car. No, it's a valid term. Hey, is that... Anthony? I feel like new. Yeah, you're... glowing. Literally. Should he get that looked at? I feel great. This new additive makes me like a fresh Baldwin build. New additive? So you don't need help? On the contrary, I should be helping you. I could pull all four of your trains with no effort whatsoever. I don't need the help of any of you lousy coal burners. Excuse me? Stay out of my way, assholes. Mr. Brass Bands is here to outpull you all. No help whatsoever. Hoorah! Did he just insult us for burning coal? No, he just doesn't like assistance. He's a bit... American. He's an oil timer. You deserve the fire train for that one. Any cars at Earhart's place we can get? I don't. That's the best idea. I'm getting some blowback back here. All right, throttle down. I bet I can carry these back into San Juan tomorrow morning. None of those damn coal burners will stand in my way. He's coming in now. I'll talk to him. Ben, not now. I'm on a roll. Anthony, you need to stop. You're damaging yourself. Like you did when you wanted to run express trains? I was optimistic. You're being outlandish. Get out of my way, Ben. No one is going to hold me back, especially not some broken down tank engine from Baltimore. You're right. I can't. But he can. So, what's this I hear you talking smack about us coal burners? Hey, you can't do this to me. Alternative fuel sources. Have you gone mad? It seemed like it was working. Working? You have no idea what you had. Lots of people sell this stuff just for a quick buck. You're lucky I'm only sending Coleman on vacation. I felt great. You felt what you wanted to feel. Do you have a problem with coal burners? No. Because you seem to have a problem becoming one. You've worked alongside us for years as friends. Even me! Do you have some deep-seated issues with coal burners? Do you deem yourself as an oil burner to be superior? Annie, wait. Do you despise how sooty we are? Leaving stains all over your breast bands? Wait. Do you think of your friends as abominations for their black gold? It was never about the coal! You said it, sir. I'm an icon. I've been here so long, and I've kept my appearance all this time. This brass, the logos, the giant headlight and stack, they're all ridiculous. But you've kept them on me ever since I arrived. I can't have that changed. I can be rebuilt, but going to coal loses a major part of me. What if the coal keeps staining the brass and they remove it? What if the coal firebox works better and I'm never reconverted? 
What if my old tender gets sold for parts? That's historic fabric, gone to time, possibly forever. Anthony. How do you think I feel? I don't want to lose that. Too many changes in time, it's frightening. A lot of it is cosmetic, don't worry. I think there's a lot of parts that have been changed out. It's just too much. I'm sorry. I understand, but we're draining your water so we can discuss this properly tomorrow. Okay. It's okay, Anthony. But this isn't you. I'm not gonna be me once this is all done. He's not going anywhere. Let's get back to work. I'm steamed up? I thought I was done. No, you're not. Coleman? I thought you were gone. Train master's all talk. I was listening to that spiel the whole time. They all ganged up on you. They had a point. They're lying. They've been rebuilt over and over. None of them is original. You are the genuine article. I've seen you running here for decades and you've never changed. Even when they rebuilt you and called it a special return, you looked just as you did when you arrived here in the 1940s. Wow. Before I could even remember? What was it like? So great. Just as much the steam era then as it is now. But we're on a slippery slope. Bigger engines, new branch lines, they're discussing bringing in diesels. First it's you being converted, next you're an interpretive exhibit. They'll be pushing you around with diesels like they do at Blue Mountain. You mean Stone Mountain? Whatever. With all due respect- This isn't about respect, it's about preserving yourself. You're getting converted and that's the end of that. Unless we prove you don't need conversion at all. This seems like a bad idea. Anything goes wrong, I'll shut it down. No hesitation. Let's do it. Brighter than the sun! We're good to go! What should we take? Everything. What? Everything. Did he seriously just take everything? Sheesh, you and I need a double head for all that. Well, screw it. He can wear himself out. Yeah, he just has to learn the hard way, right, Ben? That was ten stories ago. Well, he took every freight car, so there's no jobs for us anyway. He's just going to stall out and we can rescue him. No, we need to move. I think Anthony's getting superheated. Ben, what do you mean by superheated? You mean his tubes? No, it's a condition. Grant was telling me about this. Excess heat messes with his circuits and personality. Can't this happen to any of us? What about the big engines? It's a heat issue. Many of us can manage, but superheat in the fuel or water has unpredictable side effects. Usually it's just super power for bursts, other times it's attitude, and other times a meltdown. You mean metaphorically? Yes. He'll become mentally unstable and shut down. Okay, that's not so bad. Or his crown sheet melts and he explodes. You couldn't lead with that. More speed! I can feel this one. I think this is it! The performance of your life! We're almost at the top of the hill. We should try for Trinidad next. That's the spirit, no stops for us. Hey, how's my water glass look? Oh, crud! 
Is that bad? Are you serious? What the hell happened? Too much of a good thing. Am I missing an eyebrow? Forget your eyebrows. What about me? I'm dropping the fire. Drop it and you're fired. Mayday! We need help for Anthony at Blue Sky. We're trying to get him now! Red alert! Fire on Blue Sky siding! Wait! This isn't going to convince anyone I can work alone. I'm getting out before this blows up in my face! Coleman! Where are you going? Maybe it's not so bad. He said he was dropping the... <laughs> I knew it was a good idea to be prepared. Quick thinking, Grant. Oh, hey, it's no problem. You do the same for me. Honestly, we forget you're here half the time. Sorry we were too late, Anthony. You tried. This was all my dumb fault. You just had to keep going. I wasn't even awake when I got the news. I thought I could handle it alone. Anthony, under normal conditions, you know better than to risk your health with something that you've only just heard of. Coleman talked me into it. I don't want the rebuild if it's gonna ruin my original design. Experimental fuels? You put that in your system, and you're surprised this happens. You're lucky that it was mostly smoke oil. I felt so great, though. It's nothing but heat. You could have been damaged permanently. A lot of it is charring, though. So you may be fine in time. After all that? It might as well have been a Hollywood production. Sir, I got carried away, endangered the people nearby, and acted like a complete jerk to my friends. Why are you being so lenient? Well, I should have clarified things sooner. What do you mean? This is all because my pride kept me from accepting a rebuild. All because I don't want my original design being altered. I have to show you. I was going to save this for when you would be taken into the shops. But given the events, now is the time. Time for what? Can you see this alright? Yes, it appears to be a fellow 440 American type. Anthony, this is your builder's photo. Is it? No, it can't be. See, you were a late build American type, early 1900s decade. But in 1940, the Santa Fe had your appearance backdated, with your box headlight, large stack, the cowcatcher with the Lincoln pin bar, all the paint and brass. It was all a publicity campaign. Just a 440 backdated to show how the public saw steam. Right, shiny, 50 years out of date. You're a 1900s engine with 1940s parts and 1860s aesthetic. So, I, I'm not actually that original? Well, that rebuild saved you from scrap because you were then sold privately and eventually to us. Today, you're the oldest engine we have in service here, and still the most iconic. So, why was I made to believe that all of this was authentic? Well, when you arrived here, this was your look. I was not doing great financially, it was important to get you running. Then as time went on, the look became a favorite among the public, the crews, even me. You also seemed to appreciate it. What about Coleman? Did he know this story? It didn't fit his reality. He insisted you were a post-Civil War build and had looked like this your whole career. And you hired him? I thought he would learn. I was definitely wrong. Where'd he go, anyway? Uh... He was running out of town by rail. Coleman, stop spreading the additive on the rail! Wow. Just like that. I failed him. I failed you, but we can make this right. You'll think I'll run again? I guarantee you'll be better than anything Santa Fe ever threw on you. 
Thanks, sir. Also, the insurance will cover this one. How do you feel, Anthony? A little nervous, not gonna lie. How's your atomizer? Elsewhere. Burner? Burning. Stoker? It's stoking. An interesting sensation, not gonna lie. Then you'll be fine. Just pace yourself and don't be afraid to communicate with who you need. Definitely, sir. Thanks. Now throttle up and prove it. Got it. Ready, assholes? Ready, oiled timer.